Are you tired of hearing people saying all you need to do is study to pass this class? Which only leaves you confused and with more questions? Or maybe you know how to study but anatomy and physiology got you confused or unsure of how to do this? If you answer yes to any of these questions or you're simply curious, then this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Dr. Gonzalez. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share because in that way you will never miss a video every single week when I post a new one. All right, let's get started. Number one is change your behavior. And for this, I have several steps I'd like to discuss. A is before the course begins, if you know which book you have to buy, go get it and read it in advance. This will give you a head start on the material. B, go to class. Literally, this is your job as a student. C, when you're in class, take notes of the things your professor is saying. Writing down in a piece of paper or your iPad notes have been proven to work for memory retention. Writing down the things that your professor emphasizes is important because if your professor is talking about this, it means it's important. D. Be present. And by this I mean ask questions in class and answer questions from your professor, even if you make a mistake in class. Making a mistake is a great way to learn. E. When it's time to study, stop procrastinating and stop the excuses. Many times we have a goal in mind, but then we get distracted with social media, TV, texting, etc. instead of actively working on our goals. So put your phone away and go to a room or place where there are no distractions and focus. Do the work. Don't expect from your classmates to give you the answers. This will not help you learn. When you don't know something, look it up, Google it, go to YouTube, read your class materials, etc. And G, think about the consequences of your actions. By these, I mean if you put the effort into the class, your actions should help you achieve a good grade. On the contrary, not putting an effort will lead to the contrary, right? Failing. But if you fail again, then stand up and keep trying. Tip number two. How are you organizing yourself and studying? For this, I'm going to give you several steps. A. Create a study schedule and stick to it. This will help you find the time to study. For this, I made a specific video where I show you how to do this step by step. So click on the card on top of this video to see it. And also I will leave you a video link at the end of this video if you want to continue observing this one. B. Analyze how you learn best. By this I mean if you are a visual learner or auditive or kinesthetic or a combination of some of these learning methods. You can also take a VARC test online to figure this out or simply study and observe how you learn best by testing each one of these methods and remembering what you study. Once you figure this out, you can keep applying this. C. Then start studying a minimum of two hours every day or use the schedule you prepared. Use the materials your professor asks you, such as PowerPoints, your books, videos, and more. Use one of these methods at a time, because using all of your studying materials and having them on top of the table can make you feel overwhelmed. D. Anatomy is very visual, so use visual aids to learn like anatomy apps, right, such as Visible Body, Sea Anatomy, and more. You can also use anatomical videos, anatomical models, anatomy flashcards, anatomy atlas, and coloring books. 
as different ideas. And E, use mnemonics and acronyms to remember these anatomical names. Many anatomy names for muscles, nerve, blood vessels, and more go back to the body regions and bones. Tip number three, studying and testing skills. A, anatomy is all about learning the structures, while physiology is all about learning the function of these structures. So use unlabeled pictures of the anatomical models or figures to print out as many as you can and label them yourself from the top of your head. Doing this exercise will allow you to determine what you know and what you don't know. Then focus on the items that you don't know. As in for physiology, use index cards to write down the concepts on one side of the card and the definitions on the other side of the card. Or simply create a questionnaire and ask someone to test your knowledge. And B, when studying the superficial anatomy and body landmarks, ask someone you know to be your model so that you can practice with this person. And if you need more information, you can always click on the card on top of this video to check more study tips if you need them. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.